Hi guys, welcome back to our Texas homestead. Today I'm going to be canning up some peaches and syrup. It's from this ball book. So to start it says you need 8 to 12 pounds of peaches. And I figured about 4 peaches equal to pound. If you got some bigger ones, this was like a smaller one. So like four of these equal to pounds, so maybe like three of these. But, so I got most of them peeled and ready. I got um, five and a quarter cups of water plus two and a half cups of sugar on a pot back there, make it into a syrup. And I got the water bath canner warming up to get ready. So I'm gonna bring you down to peel the rest of these peaches and then we'll get started. And I got the peaches sitting in four cups of water with a quarter cup of lemon juice. So if your peaches are hard to peel, you can put them in boiling water for like 60 seconds and then put them straight into cold water. But these peel really easily, so I'm not doing that. Put my dishwasher back on. So I'm just cutting them into thirds. So you just cut the peach in half, twist it a little bit, take out the pit, and then peel them and cut them to the size you want. You want to make sure your peaches are a little firm, but not like rock hard. You just don't want them real mushy. Okay, let me get this moved over to the stove and I'll bring you right back. So, I got the peaches over here. I drained some of the water out. I got a slotted spoon. We're just going to put a layer of peaches in the syrup, you want to drain, you know, you, you don't want to get a lot of the original water in your syrup. And you're just going to leave them in there for about 30 seconds. Actually, you're going to leave them in there for a minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute. You're going to take them out. Put them in your jars. You can use pints or quarts. I just figure pints is enough for... I'm pretty much the only one that eats them, so... They're enough for me. And then you're going to ladle in. Actually, I'm going to put all the peaches in the jars and then do the syrup last. So there's enough syrup for them to all sit in.
I got all the jars filled up. It actually wow. made it's the camera. Uh, it's the book says it makes eight pints, but I got more than eight. But I'm gonna make one of them a boozy bourbon peach. So you need two star anise or something. These little things. Uh, a couple of splashes of bourbon. And then the recipe I found said a vanilla bean, but I'm just putting some vanilla in there because I don't have any beans. So put the rest of these peaches in here. Put some of these last couple of peaches in jars that look like they've condensed down a little bit. Okay. And then now we're going to take the syrup that's left over. Ooh, I need And fill up the jars to half an inch headspace. And the book said a generous half inch headspace, so make sure you don't fill them too full. My hands are so sticky. So now we're going to take our little debubble stick and go around, get out all the air bubbles, and then you'll put some more syrup in there if it gets too low. Take our wet rag and wipe around the rims because that syrup is super sticky. You want to make sure all your seals seal.
Some of them, maybe I could put a little more in there, but it said a generous half inch, so I'm not going to. And then you just want your rings on finger tight, just a little bit. So I'm going to get the rest of these on there and I'll bring you out to the canner and show you what's next. So our water is out of boil. So we're going to put the jars in. two more. Hmm. I don't think this one will fit. Oh, maybe. No, that one won't fit. So, we'll let it come back to a boil, which is starting to, a little bit. And then, uh, since I got pints, I'll process them for 20 minutes. And if you do quartz, you gotta process them for 25 minutes. So I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it off. I'm going to let them sit here for five minutes to cool down a little bit. And then I guess I'll process that one by itself. Because they won't really be soft like the other ones would be if I don't process it. So, so I'll bring you back in when I take them out. And then I'll get that one started and show you. It's been five minutes, so we're going to take the lid off. So they're gonna rise up to the top a little bit and you'll see the more juice down here and I think it kind of rises up a little bit more as they cool off but there's some peaches and simple syrup and it's really good over vanilla ice cream or just with like some heavy cream in them my grandma Always had dessert when we went over there. We would go like once or twice a week because she lived close. And I think once a week we probably had peaches just like this. So brings back memories of Grandma. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll have to try out the boozy peaches because Grandma never made that one. So we'll let you know how they are. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to save your leftover syrup from like before you put them in the, before you canned it and you uh, make some tea and then you got peach tea. It's really good. And you can save the syrup left over from these when you eat the peaches too. Bye.